Hey guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'll be showing you how you can hide your games on Steam and how you can actually hide your account activity so that your friends can't see your, what games you're playing or they just can't see the games in your library. So let's start off with just hiding our games in the library. For that just open up your Steam, go into the library and now any game you want to hide just select it. So let's do aim labs right here, click on that now on the right you'll find this gear icon right here click on that manage and now go to manage and you can hide this game just click hide this game and now boom it's away from your inventory people can't see it so you can do this for whatever reason you want to if you if you don't want your friends to see this game or if you don't want to see the game yourself then you can just hide it right here and now if you want to access your hidden games or if you want to unhide them just click onto view right here on the top and now click onto hidden games now you have your hidden games right here and if you want to unhide them just go onto the game again click the gear symbol and same thing go on to manage and then remove from hidden and that way now it's just in your normal library again you can access it right here you can see it normally now, if you don't want people seeing what games you're playing or when you're playing, you we have to change some setting in the account itself. So let's go onto your account, click on the icon right here, click on view my profile. On the right hand here, click on edit profile. Now we want to go to the privacy settings. And here we can change my profile from public to either friends only, but then of course your friends will see what you're doing, or you can do it to private. And now people can't see the game you're playing, they can't see when you're playing, and this is a good option if you don't want people seeing what, when you're playing or what you're playing. So that's how you can change that. Then just go back to your library and play any game you want to. I hope this helped you out. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe if it did, and comment down below if you have any more questions.